Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A Trump appointee's decision to personally review requests to release migrant children from jail-like secure facilities created a bureaucratic bottleneck that dramatically increased the amount of time kids spent locked up. Office of Refugee Resettlement Chief E. Scott Lloyd who first attracted national interest when a federal court slapped down his attempt to ban a teenage migrant who'd been raped from obtaining an abortion told subordinates last year that he'd have to personally sign off before any kids could be released from or secure facilities. As a result, hundreds of kids spent extra time in the jail-like facilities, which have been associated with far more allegations of abuse and mistreatment than the shelters and homestays that hold most of the children in or custody. Over the past two years, migrant children in federal custody have been forcibly injected with psychotropic drugs at a Shiloh residential treatment center outside Houston, according to court filings. Others were pepper sprayed or locked in restraints with bags over their heads as punishment for misbehaving at Shenandoah Valley Juvenile Center in Virginia. Lloyd decided to make release decisions himself after reading news reports that some unaccompanied minors released from or custody later allegedly committed gang-related crimes, he told a congressional subcommittee last year. In a deposition for a New York Civil Liberties Union lawsuit challenging his new policy, which a federal judge halted with an injunction last month, Lloyd said he made the decision without an agency review and in consultation with just two colleagues. Release requests were subsequently delayed for months as they mounted on the desk of a single bureaucrat. One of the plaintiffs in the Nikhil lawsuit, a 17-year-old boy who has not been publicly identified, spent eight months locked in a juvenile detention hall after his arrest on gang-related charges that were never proven. Though it lacked evidence of criminal activity to justify his incarceration, or cited the boy's gang-related tattoos as one of the reasons for his extended detention. The boy has no tattoos, according to the Niklu. At least 700 children spent time in facilities with severe security restrictions because of the delay, the Niklu says.